Hi everybody, it's Mrs. McGahee. I thought we would do a bit of our opening carpet routine and a few lessons. So let's get started. Here we go. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. the ground. Stand up straight now. Turn around. Point to your eyes. Point to your nose. Jump up and down and touch your toes. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Let's start the day. Don't find your seat. <gasps> what did Miss McGatty do? She made a pattern, right? What kind of a pattern? A B, right, fast, slow, fast, slow. Well done. Good job, my friends. Folding our hands in prayer, right hand in the air. Let us bless ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, be with me through this day. Keep me safe at school and away. Watch the places where I play. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Make a circle, make a circle, make a circle like the sun. Make a circle, make a circle, make a circle like the sun. I know it's not very fun by yourself, is it? No. Hands on your waist. Here we go. We are the four and five and six year olds. We do as we're told. We come to school every day. We chat, we learn and play. Our teachers care for one and all. They guide us on our way. And when we have finished up our year, they'll give us all a cheer. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. On your bumpers. Good job, you guys. Here we go. Do you know the robot and dinosaur man? The robot and dinosaur man? The robot and dinosaur man? Do you know the robot and dinosaur man who liked to sing with me? Oh, he likes the letter R and D, the letter R and D, the letter R and D. Oh, he likes the letter R and D and likes to sing with me. R makes one sound, er, 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 er. D makes one sound, duh, 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 duh. Well done, my friends. Now, last time we got up to the letter O in Q is for deck, okay? So let's start at letter P, right? P makes one sound, p, 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 p. P is for chick, Why? Look at the sound that chicks make, because a chick peeps. Beep, 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 beep. Good. Q. Q makes one sound. Qua, 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 qua. Q is for duck. Oh, same as the title. Q is for duck. Why? You know what ducks say. Because a duck quacks. Quack, 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 quack. Good. R. R makes one sound. Er, 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 er. R is for lion. Know what a lion says because a lion roars except this little guy's roaring making a big roar sound I don't think so that's very silly s s makes one sound s, s is for camel why and this answer is very rude I don't like this answer because a camel spits 
very good. T, T makes one sound. T, 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 T. T is for elephant. Why? Yeah, they have a trunk that begins with T. What sound? It's, it's like a musical instrument that you would hear in a band or an orchestra. Is it elephant trumpets? Good. And you, you makes two sounds, you and ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You is for prairie dog. Hmm. I wonder, hmm, think about where they might live. Hmm. In a den like a bear, hmm, maybe. But the answer, remember, always has to start with a letter. Hmm, let's see. Because prairie dogs live underground. <laughs> so silly. Mom and Dad are sitting in front of the TV and little prairie dog is in his room playing with his toys. Very silly. Letter V. V makes one sound. <laughs> v is for chameleon. is or what a chameleon can do. Chameleon can change colors. Mm, so, because a chameleon vanish, seems to vanish, right? Because look, he turned the same color as the leaf. So it's almost like he disappeared. You can't really see him. So cool. W. W makes one sound. W is for snake. Why? Because a snake wiggles. And look at the cool letter shape that the snake made. Whoa, w, well done. Cool. X. X makes one sound. for a dinosaur. Now this is a little tricky you guys because the answer doesn't begin with an X. The letter X is found in the second letter in the word. Okay, we're going to do this one together because dinosaurs are extinct. Do you know what extinct means? That's another big word. Remember we learned that big word E is for whale. Why? Because whales are enormous, right? Okay, so extinct means that dinosaurs, do you see dinosaurs walking around the streets? Or around? No. So that means dinosaurs don't exist anymore. We don't see dinosaurs, okay? So they're all gone, okay? Letter Y. Y makes one sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y is for coyote. Why? Because a coyote yowls. Look at the poor baby yowling on Mama's lap. I think he wants his bottle. Very sad. And our last letter of the alphabet, Z. Z makes one sound. How many letters in the alphabet? 26. That's right. Z is for animals. Why? Because animals live in the zoo. Good job, you guys. Well done. So we're all finished with Cues for Duck? I just love this book. All right. Now, last time we were together, we did Clifford Let's Spell. Okay, so we're going to do two new pages of Clifford today. So Clifford belongs to Emily Elizabeth. He is Emily Elizabeth's what? It's a three-letter word. If you have a dog or a cat, they would be your pet. That's right. So let's spell the word pet. Not k k k. P p p. A a a. Mm mm. E e e. P e. Mm. T t t. Not d d d. Not g g g. T t t. P-e-t, p-e-t, pet. Good job.
job, you guys. One more page. Clifford loves to chew on bones. He dig big holes. He doesn't need a shovel to bury his bones deep. Clifford uses his paws to dig. So he can dig big holes. Okay, put, 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 nope. Put, 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 nope. Er, er, er. K, 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 ah, ah. Not eh, eh. Not ah, ah. Not eh, eh. K, ah, ah, ah. T, t, mm, mm, mm. There it is. Mm, k, ah, mm. K, ah, mm. Can. Good job, you guys. Well done. Now, today I thought we'd play a really cool game. And these are tongue twisters. So, you're going to listen. This is the guy you want you to listen for the beginning sound you hear the most of in a sentence that I read to you. So, let's try this one together. Okay? Listen carefully for the beginning sound. A big bug bit the little beetle, but the little beetle bit the big bug back. What sound do you hear most often? B, 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 b. That's right. Good. Now you guys try this one. Five frantic frogs fled from 50 fierce fishes. Five frantic frogs fled from 50 fierce fishes. What beginning sound do you hear a lot of in that sentence? That's right. <laughs> right. F. The sound of F. Good. Try this one now. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. Ooh. Six socks sit in a sink soaking in soap suds. What beginning sound do you hear a lot of in that sentence? That's right. Good. One more. Linda Lou loves lemon lollipops. Linda Lou loves lemon lollipops. What beginning sound do you hear a lot of? Uh, uh, uh. That's right. Good job, you guys. And today I thought we would end with this book called Not a Box. This is written by Antoinette Portis. Not a Box. A rabbit. You know that 2D shape. Good job, rectangle. Well, if it's not a box, I wonder what it could be. Well, let's try and see if we can find out the answer. Let's go. Why are you sitting in a box? It's a good question. I used to have a cat who liked to jump and sit in boxes. It's not a box. <gasps> cool race car. So cool. What are you doing on top of that box? Another good question. It's not a box. Wow, we made it into a mountain and we're standing at the very top, which is called the peak of the mountain. He's called it the rabbit peak. Wow, this rabbit's got a great imagination, just like I know you guys have, a, have great imaginations. Why are you squirting a box? Think about it. What could he be doing? He's got a hose. He's squirting the box. Think about it. I said it's not a box. Mm -hmm. Now you're wearing a box? This is not a box. Oh, I'm making a connection, connection, connection. What did he make? Er, for a robot, just like we sang earlier. Wow, that's really cool. Wow, this rabbit's got a great imagination. And he he's building lots of great things like you guys build with Lego and in the block center. Very cool. Let's keep going. Are you still standing around in that box? Mm, scratching 
days for it, thinking, hmm, what else can I create? Let's see. It's not, 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 not a box. Oh my goodness. Look at all the cool things he created. Wow. So cool. Well, what is it then? sitting on top of the box and he's thinking, hmm, what else can I create? What else can I make with that box? Anybody have a prediction? Hmm, let's see. What does he do? It's my not a box. Wow, he turned it into a rocket ship. How cool is that? Wow. So cool. And there he goes, zooming off to space. Very cool. The end. Now, it's the magical time of the morning. But before we go, we need to sing our goodbye song. Now our morning's done. We've had lots of fun. It's time to go, so don't be slow. Goodbye to everyone. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. It's time to go, so don't be slow. Goodbye to everyone. Goodbye, my friends. Have a lovely and safe weekend. I miss you all so much. I'm sending lots and lots of virtual hugs, and I want you to take good care, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.